Alright, so. Looks like we're gonna do some concrete for in here. Boom up. Who was it? Was, was it funny? No. Was it? Yeah. I wish, have you found a way to, like, s switch between vehicles, like, to add between them? Yeah, I think that's, uh, I, I get why it's not in there, because it's kind of cheaty, when, when, well, I mean, you can go to the menu, but at least that's a hassle, but, yeah, it's I just annoying. Make it a lot better. Yeah. I just didn't know if there, if such a thing exists in this game. I haven't discovered it. I, yeah. I guess I also haven't looked. Go to controls. And quick selection. the hell's motor pool? Mm -hmm. I don't know, perhaps B, see what happens. Uh, it brings up all the vehicles. Oh, okay, well I guess that's quicker, like if you have it on site. Uh, I like that. I like that. Okay, let's see. If I go to no, no, no. Oh yeah, you're definitely limited. Move the controller a little bit. That's okay. All right, so you're pulling the walls. <laughs> this is annoying as hell. Mm hmm Support pillars. There's a lot of crane work coming up after you finish the uh, walls there. stuff. There's a sawmill now? There's no sawmill. There's no sawmill. Oh. We have a few undiscovered locations. It's probably one of those. Indeed do. Indeed do. Well, apparently there's a sawmill. How much more concrete work do you get? Eh, a little bit. I can go you get... get quite a bit. Prefab stuff. Yeah, I'll go get the prefab stuff.
because we'll need that at some point. Which is just an auto accept where you can just turn it on, so. Right? Like, Wait, where the hell is it? I don't want to trust it, buyer or whatever. It's not here. It should just auto load onto. Should be on there. Yeah, all right. I can put one more on. You have to approve another one. Nope, nope. Apparently not. and get the back side. Giggity. Giggity. Man, this thing holds nothing when you're <laughs> you're doing the uh Yeah, when you don't mode. have the Yeah. No, when you're uh when you're not on the hardest mode there is, it holds a little bit. So this thing I just turned it on just instantly empty. Oof. Well that's right. Yeah, we're the on hard mode. Yeah. What this? small crew. Like I wish there was like a leave engine running button button. Yeah, I know. Alright, I gotta find the sawmill. I'm 
I'm gonna guess it's up here. I was gonna say, we do have that pickup, but you probably just take the truck with it. You probably gotta pull something back, don't you? Yeah, it just depends on if... if it's the right place. Alright, I might as well just drive it. I was gonna fast travel over to like the nearest spot, but you have another place that is unmarked, so might as well just do it. Oh, come on. Oh, I got some crane work to do. Did I pass the... Uh oh, that's just a gas station, so... So how'd your game go? Oh, uh... Michigan won? Boo! It was a good game. the uh, the Patriots could replicate that I wouldn't know anything about that I'm a Ravens fan oh, it's just hard to watch I've been actually like rooting for Mac Jones to throw interceptions Chris Jackson was threatening to beat our quarterback's ass were, oh, really? Yeah, AEW was in in uh, Baltimore, and Lamar Jackson was there, and Chris Jericho was like, I even whip Lamar Jackson's ass! <laughs> oh. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. It would have been cool if he got involved. I mean, Ben Roethlisberger did back in the day. Yeah, well, he's a fat piece of shit. Yeah, um, that's no joke. Lamar Jackson's a goofy looking piece of shit, so. He sure is. They show sure him is. in the crowd, and he, he kind of looks like a gremlin. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He really does. Weird looking individual. Mm hmm. But hey, I mean, Ravens. What, like almost essentially close to leading the AFC? So, what I haven't kept up anything with this, I have no clue. What's going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, like this is one of the strangest years in that uh, the majority of the teams are all riding at like 500%. 
four and four. And there's only a few teams that have, like, considerable winning records. And it's like the Ravens, the Bills, and the Chiefs for the AFC. And that's it. Oh, my. Yeah, not too shabby. I just want to have a horrible year so like he doesn't get a ton of money when he goes <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> You think he's gonna go somewhere else? I mean, where they, else could he go? I don't know. I mean, the Ravens have thrown practically all they're willing to give him at him, and he still said no. So, mm. Mm. I kind of hope he does. Like, cause I've been anti Lamar Jackson since. since oh, he, you're anti Lamar playing. Jackson. Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. I I hate Joe I mean, Flacco he's the, too. Even though, well, Joe Flacco's. A huge piece of shit. Well, yeah. But I was like, but I mean, when's said, the last? What's the last? Who's the last quarterback that you liked for the Ravens? I guess it'd be a better uh, question. Uh, Steve McNair wasn't bad. <laughs> Steve McNair. <laughs> he only played okay. for like a year or two. <laughs> I was gonna say because I only know him from the, from the Titans. Titans. Yeah. He, he played, played before, or was it one of those like lingering? It was like, after Tom Brady with the box. Yeah, okay. yeah. He played like a year or two with with Baltimore, and then uh, then he ended up uh, getting killed. So true. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he got murdered, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, his girlfriend's ex boyfriend, or something, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd say I wonder if it was Aaron Hernandez that did it, but I don't think he was even alive then. Oh yeah, he was. It probably was. Yeah. It, it wasn't. Well, it was a little. It was before the youngest one was born. But oh shit! Oh come on, PJs, get it together. Like I was willing to give Joe Flacco. Uh, a chance, and then he quickly proved that he, he was god awful. He just had good quarter or quarterback, good, good wide he, receivers. Yeah, yeah. Well, as soon as he like from the outsider perspective, like not following the Ravens, you couldn't really notice until he went to another team, and then it became blatantly obvious. You're like, oh wow. No, he had. If you, if you watched him play, like when they won the Super Bowl, if you watched any of him play that season, his his receivers carried his ass because he was just throwing passes left and right. They were going up and making the plays to catch it. Yeah, <laughs> he couldn't just throw up. the ball to save his life. Throwing balls up and just yeah, hoping people are going to come down with them. Exactly. Yeah. What's that, Derek Mason? Somewhere over there? Yeet! Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Derek Mason. Wow. Uh, and uh, oh shit, what was the other? Wait, guy? so did they? Did the? Wait a second. Derek Mason, wasn't he on the Titans too? At one point. Yep. I think with, yeah. With Steve McNair. Yeah. When <laughs> when Derek Mason came over is when uh it was like a, the year after Steve McNair signed. Uh, okay. This is like pretty sure I remember playing like Madden like 2003 or 2004 because Eddie George was on the team too, right? Yeah. With Steve McNair on the Titans? Yep. Yeah, so right. running back. Yep. So nah, that makes sense. They and had Derek a pretty stacked team too. I don't know why they didn't really do much. <laughs> they did. They just came one yard short. Against the Rams in the 1999 Super Bowl, was it? Was it? How yeah. Remember. There's that infamous picture of, like, they did that this crazy, like, lateral play, like, last-ditch effort on the kickoff. And they got down to, like, the two-yard line. And it was, like, the receiver for the Titans who was, like, reaching his arm out to try to get across the goal line. And the Rams player tackling him. Hang on. 
It was. Yeah. Put it in the. Air. Donor room. But that was like the. The infamous picture. That was Dyson, though. Anquan no Bolden, there you go. Was the, the Anquan Bolden, yeah. Yeah, not a lot happened with him after her. There was another, another one who, like, a yeah, year or two yeah. after, got traded away and did absolutely nothing. Mm hmm. I might as well just get all these in a row. It still says I need more. What? I, I feel like this is too many. Now I keep saying that there's two. I think there may have been one too many. It's just not updating. So I'll bring four down there. Mostly because I can only bring four. And then we'll see. Also, we'll see. Not forget that the Ravens are the only organization in history that a woman got decked in the elevator and apologized to the world for her part in the or True. ordeal. <sighs> Good point. Is he is did I hear correctly he was playing in like the Canadian Football League? Uh maybe. They just don't believe in criminal records up there. <laughs> they also don't play believe in playing real football, but True. Well, they have a nice mix. I kinda like it because it's a nice mix between arena football and NFL football. Oh, arena football. I remember when that was like a big thing. Like Dang. Massachusetts has an arena football team. Well, you, well, it used to be like really big because they even made a, a game, a video game for it. Uh, I, mean, I had it. I'm not ashamed to say it was actually a pretty good game. What what console was it for? I feel like I remember it, but I I was I had it on PS2. Know. Yeah, that sounds about right. PS2, they would put anything out. Because it was such an awesome console. True. And the games still, are rarely missed. Up. Yeah. Jeez. Like, I, can, I can name a handful of stinkers that came out for it. PS2. Whereas... When it moved into PS3 and, and PS4, that's like right around the time where games were All the were games like, were so refined at that point, it really became just like a series, the well, series ones. Well, not even that. Like, it became a money grab. So they were putting out, like, just games nonstop and half-assing them. Yeah. That's like what they did with Overwatch. Like, they, they put out Overwatch 2 as a giant money grab. Like, you used to be able... So, oh. in, in yeah. Overwatch 2, you used to be able to... Um, when you leveled up, you'd get loot boxes, and the loot box always had, you never knew what it had in it, but whatever you got was free, like, you didn't have to pay for anything. Well, everything that used to come in the loot boxes, you now have to pay for, and it's like 20 bucks a skin when you used oh, okay. to be able to get it for free. <laughs> uh. I never played anything with Overwatch. 
I I played I I got into the beta for the first one and I actually really liked it and then it got a little bit repetitive and because they stopped putting out like actual updates they're just rinsing and repeating whatever they already had mm. and uh, yeah I just I didn't like it anymore and then they brought out Overwatch two we're like oh it's a sequel but hey we're taking the first one offline so you can't play it anymore and then now everybody is pissed because they just ruined it. It's basically all they did was they took the basic Overwatch 1 and updated it to put a, a giant amount of microtransactions in it. And it's like, oh, this is Overwatch 2. You can't play with one oh, of it okay. anymore, though. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah. They literally pissed off, like, 75% of the fan base. The only other... People who only people are excited about it is people that didn't play the first one and look. Oh, it's a free game, right? Do we have more prefab stuff somewhere? I'm missing that. Um, there are more of these things. No prefab walls. Oh, um, I, I can I can check the. Uh, there might be. Yeah, there's I'll, one, two, I'll check the three, four, door. five, six, seven. At least seven more walls that we need. It, it's entirely. Oops. Oh, okay. Um, hang on. I'll check the prefab store. Oh eight. This is right there. Eight of sixteen. Oh yeah, there yeah, there are. Sorry. Head over there right now. Grab those real quick. I could only take two at a time. <laughs> 